Okay, this is old ham. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to do what we always do for holidays, which is talk about the holiday and how it evolved and what happens. Now, one of the things that's kind of tricky is how do we make it different every single year? We get a different information than what we were doing before because there's all kinds of, okay, that uh, I've discovered in the last two years they are continually rewriting the history books. Yeah, so if you actually do a search for MBN and go back through time, it guess will, what you're going to find? It will be changed because it is And not, you'll see the record of history. Yeah, as, as the history, as, as the history books are being rewritten, we're doing a new version of what it is. But, uh, but here we go. But okay. Memorial Day is a federal holiday observed annually in the United States on the last Monday of May, formerly known as Decoration Day. It originated after the American Civil War to commemorate the fallen Union soldiers of the Civil War. Southern ladies' organizations and Southern ch school children had decorated Confederate graves in Richmond and other cities during the Civil War, but each region had its own date. Most dates were in May. By the 20th century, <coughs> Memorial Day had been extended to honor all Americans who died in all wars. Memorial Day is a remembering of the men and women who died while serving in the United States Armed Forces. As a marker, it typically marks the start of summer vacation while Labor Day marks it in. See, that's the whole trick. That's the real reason behind it. So. Mm. And many people visit cemeteries and memorials. I know here in Southern California, what do people do for Memorial Day? Um, they go out and condemn the United States military. <laughs> Well, part of it is memorial. It's in memory of yeah. people that have served the country. That's what we're supposed to be doing, right? Yeah. But a lot of times people think of Memorial Day as a reason to have barbecues and have parties. Oh, yeah. And it, take a vacation. It, it's, it's, it's the number one day of the year for car sales. Are you serious? Yeah, Memorial Day weekend, they push car, dis car sales. Well, be, um, because they're trying to clear out inventory before the summer starts because uh, starting in June, they start bringing in the new cars that, you know, start dealerships start getting the cars for sale two months later. Yeah, so part of it is it's year 2012 right now. So actually, all the new car models are on a lot what, two th for 2013 in August. Yeah. It, 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 no wonder why they did that thing at Lab Art yesterday. I was wondering why they, we did, they did a live graffiti drawing at one of the car dealership places. Uh, I was wondering why. So it's because of Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, it's because they're trying to push cars. That's the, you know, they give you the steepest discounts of the year on Memorial weekend. Mm. But they really? also, it's the best. Day, it's one of the best days to get to go shopping. Period. They said the food is cheaper, <gasps> the gas is higher, no matter what they're saying, and um, people tend to go. Okay, it's it's a good uh, today. Is a day not Monday. Today is the day that they'll be going out to more movie theaters and more restaurants, and everybody's got their deals for the day. So, so basically, people are out spending money, right? They're not spending money, even but, but they're spending money. How they spend it is determined by the economy. So they're not going places to spend money. Although, you know, travel is up, but they don't say travel where is up. Staycations. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yes, yeah, staying where you are and having a mini vacation. Yeah. Um, but uh, Memorial Day has its origins in a Decoration Day, which began, you know, uh, among freemen, freed slaves, and American black and black American families, a celebration of both black and white Union soldiers. And that's funny. Like I said, it's actually the uh, Afro Americans are responsible for Memorial Day. Actually, here's one of the things that I didn't know, which we were talking about, is I thought Memorial Day was only celebrated in the United oh, States. Oh no, they basically it is a um, they it it they have their versions of Memorial Day. Uh, every, okay, every word that an American soldier has died on a battlefield, Memorial Day is celebrated. So therefore what happens is the other countries are celebrating their dead soldiers on our holiday. Mm -hmm. So it's not as much as a ho they don't have holidays like we do for these things. I mean they have like Christmas and, and Easter and uh, and then and, 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 and New Year's <laughs> and New Year's but the but they, what they do is they're like this. They have they would have got off a big celebration, you know, celebrating their own military triumphs or mm -hmm. losses. So, but um, basically, together with teachers and missionaries, blacks in Charleston organized a May Day celebration in 1865, which was covered by the New York Tribune and other national papers. They cleaned up and landscaped the burial building the burial grounds uh, and enclosure and our labeled Martyrs of the Race Course. 
10,000 freemen gathered on May 1st to commemorate the dead involved were 3,000 school children, newly enrolled in freemen schools, mutual aid societies, union troops and black ministers and white northern missionaries. Most brought flowers to uh, land a burial site. This is why it was called Decoration Day. They cleaned up the burial sites and decorated them. That's how it got its name. Actually, there is a, there's a drive right now to start cleaning up all the all of the all of the, all of the uh, burial sites and oh, and, uh, and in honor of remembrance of, of of Decoration Day when they did go out and clean everything oh, up. Oh really? Yeah. Actually, that's really good. Well, but uh, the Congress of the United States um, basically is got it. Uh, okay, we got it's hung up by. We love the military. We support the military. We want to help the military. Well, you know which side of the table that it's hung up on. It's got unanimous support. It's passed in the House. It stopped in the Senate because we want to do everything we can to honor the dead in our military. It's, it's a dead deal when it comes to the Senate, so. <laughs> no. That's really kind of sad. I still like it. I said Afro African Americans invented a Memorial Day. What we have is an African American recently freed from slavery announcing to the world with their flowers, their feet, and their songs what war had been about. But they basically were creating an Independence Day of, um, for a second American Revolution, which, see, that you hadn't heard before either. A second American Revolution? Uh, the Civil War freed all the slaves. Oh. And for all of you people that uh, are criticizing Republicans now, Remember, it was the Republicans that freed the slaves. It was the Republicans that passed the Civil Rights Act. It was the Democrats. Okay, if you hear negative comments about Republicans, go back in history and you'll hear the Democrats making those very same comments about African Americans. Mm. And following President Abraham Lincoln's assassination in April 1865, they did a number of events just to, uh, for commemoration. And the first observance of a Memorial Day type of observance was in Charleston. South Carolina, which we've been talking about, on May yeah. 1st. Yeah. Oh, at the beginning of the month. Yeah. The first day during the War Union soldiers. On, on May Day. Oh. It, may, it was a celebration because what do you do on May Day with flowers and all this stuff? You mm -hmm. have a, a May Day celebration is only about flowers. And during the war, Union soldiers who were prisoners of war had been held at the Charleston Race Course. At least 257 Union prisoners died there or hastily buried in unmarked graves. Sounds like they were trying to... Uh, hastily buried. They were trying to hide something? <coughs> hide what they had done. Mm -hmm. um, the sheer number of dead soldiers, both Union and Confederate, who perished in the Civil War meant that burial and memorialization would take on new cultural significance, particularly under the leadership for women during the war. Isn't that amazing? Women's movements? Mm -hmm. And who fostered the women's movements? Who? Afro-Americans. Oh, really? Yeah. And so the women started decorating the graves back in 1865. Yeah. Wow. So, isn't that amazing? If you go back far enough, you find out that there were a lot of mothers. Our traditions. Yeah, there were people, uh, mothers. Mm -hmm. You know, because there were a god awful lot of black soldiers in the Union Army, folks. A lot of mm -hmm. them. You know, they became the Buffalo Soldiers in the West, but there were a lot of black soldiers, and a lot of black soldiers. Okay, ever go go watch the movie um, uh, with Matthew Broderick, and I guess. Um, you know, Denzel Washington, glory. It talks about the black soldiers and how they were used as cannon fodder. Mm -hmm. so, mm. so you honor, but what was is they were honoring their dead, and by honoring their dead, they were honoring, well, here's the trick is, you don't know who's buried in this, so it's everybody together. If you're honoring the dead in unmarked graves, you're honoring everybody. Mm. So. But um, in the North, the friendship between General John Murray, a distinguished citizen of Waterloo, New York, and General <coughs> Johnny Logan, who helped bring attention to the best national labor electricity a factor in the holiday's growth. On May 5, 1968, in his capacity as Commander-in-Chief of, of the Army of the Republic, the Organization for the Civil War of Veterans, Logan issued a proclamation that Decoration Day would be observed nationwide. It was uh, observed for the first time on May 30th of the same year. The date was chosen because it was not the, it was not the anniversary of any paddle. <laughs> yeah, what has happened is our Congress has disrespected the whole thing by changing the date. 
and then make it a ho make it a federal holiday so people could be on and go out and have a three day holiday. Well, you know they've done that for a lot of different holidays. In fact, earlier in the year, it used to be what was it? Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday. They put and then, together. And then, yeah, they, they put them together day. so they could give Martin Luther King a day. I don't think Martin Luther King would have really appreciated that. You know, yeah, well, because he would have had respect. It's like you keep Lincoln and Washington separate. Yeah, and you, you give him, you give them all their birthdays, but mm -hmm. they they had too many, uh, they have too many holidays also. But um, remember though, by moving it from the day it was it was set on the thirtieth, so it would not have any relationship to any battle. So they moved it to a day where there was battles. Mm -hmm. That's what our Congress did. Well, actually, none of them could read any books, but they would know there was a battle. So. Okay, uh, by 1870, the remains of nearly 30,000 Union dead had been reinterred in 73 national cemeteries located near the battlefield and therefore mostly in the south. Actually, they were all on southern plantations. The most famous at Gettysburg uh, National Cemetery in Pennsylvania and Arlington. Arlington was uh, Robert E. Lee's home, folks. Um, they made certain that if you were a, if you were a general or something or, or anybody else to Civil War, you had a burial place made out of your property. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they wanted to, it was a warning. But, um, which is funny is that when they reinterred black soldiers, they were not allowed to be put in the same graveyard as the white soldiers after they were reinterred. It's a, great, it's a celebration by black Americans for everybody, and then the black American soldiers were not allowed to be in the same burial ground. Hey, didn't it? So, because uh, you have to understand why. Where were most of the burial grounds? Where? In the South. And who had just lost the Civil War over what issue? Who? The South had just lost the Civil War over slaves. So you think they're going to let them be buried in there? No, that did not happen. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, but um, but in 19, okay, um, People of all religious beliefs joined together, and the point was often made that German and Irish soldiers had become true Americans in the baptism blood. They always were. They were soldiers. In other words, since you helped us fight. Yeah, you, you get to be you get to be buried with us. They don't actually. We're, we're talking. They didn't like the Irish. Had never been liked. By the uh, 1850, the theme was American exceptionalism and a duty to uphold freedom and war. He, we understand where Obama gets his word exceptionalism. Exceptionalism. Yeah, which he doesn't actually believe in. But um, uh, Iron Tone, I like Ironton, Ohio, lays claim to be the nation's oldest continually running Memorial Day parade. Its first parade was held in May 5, 1868, and the town has held every year since. However, the Memorial Day parade in Doylestown, uh, Pennsylvania, precedes it by one year in the South. They don't, isn't that amazing? It, it's, it's been every year since one, you know, 1867, but because it's a Southern parade that was created by black Americans, it's not. So, uh, and to understand, Southerners control the, 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 the history books are being rewritten by Democrats. I mean, this is totally different than what we've had in the past. Yeah. But again, yeah, before it was kind of like, okay, they died, we're going to memorialize them, right? Yeah. Uh, but basically, uh, it, it, uh, okay. Basically, historians have traced how a separate tradition of Memorial Day services, which emerged itself, was linked to the lost cause and partially emerged in the National Day of Memories. They created it, folks. They, you know, uh, by June 1916, the birthday of Confederate Jefferson Davis was observed as a state holiday in ten southern states across the South. Associations were founded after the war, many by women again, to establish and care for permanent cemeteries for the soldiers. Organized commemorative ceremonies and sponsor impressive monuments a permanent way of remembering 